Welcome back to the channel you guys. We are building a home gym today. If you can remember sometime last year we gave one of our spare bedrooms a makeover and we turned it into Brian's office. So today we're going to revisit it and give it a bit of an upgrade. This is an idea that Brian has had for a while and what's really exciting is that he's gonna kind of take the lead on this project. He's never designed anything before in his life so I'm just very excited to get to work with him and make his vision come to life. We're going to be building some things as well as creating a custom DIY solution. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm going to go grab Brian and we can kind of show you guys the space that we're working with. Here we are in the office. Oh no. <laughs> and my special guest. Hello everybody. <laughs> it's a new year in the same shirt, but my new year's resolution is to get a new shirt for this year. So we'll see. Do you guys want him to wear a new shirt? Should we throw this in a giveaway? Ew, no, ew. <laughs> this is a very exciting video for me specifically because I've been wanting a home gym for so long and it's finally coming true. Thank you. But you're gonna have you helping me so you don't have to thank me. Yes. So Ryan will be helping out with a lot of it but I do want to do a little reveal at the end so that you're a little surprised. He'll know what it looks like but I'll put in all the finishing touches for the end. Did you show them my sketch yet? <laughs> You guys, this is the mood board that Brian drew up. I'll insert it right here. And now you can see why Tina is the creative <laughs> one. Before Tina gives you guys the overview, just know that we just had the holidays. We finished the closet. It's a little messy in here. And Tina killed that plant, not me. No, I mean, kind of. And the final thing that I want to touch on is that I love this makeover in this room. It's one of my favorite in this house. And I love that Tina made a space for me to have some alone time and focus and whatnot. I've been using it more as a gym lately, so that's why I want to make it half of an office and half of a mm -hmm. gym. I love everything in here, but I know that Tina and myself now are going to make it so much better. All right, so this is what the office looks like right now. If you watch the updated house tour, you guys saw that we put in a treadmill over here. So Brian has been making good use of this. And then we also have this little corner with some more gym equipment and then some new stuff that he bought. I have no idea what this is. And if you pan over here, you can see it's a little bit of a mess. So I moved some of the plants in here because my studio room was actually getting too cold for them. And this room gets a lot of good lighting. So they are living here for the winter time. And then all of this stuff is just things that we have not put away. And also there's a dead plant in the corner. We totally put it here and forgot about it. So now it is a goner. And if you pan over here, this is our closet that we actually didn't even make over at all. This is how the closet looked when we moved in and I obviously was not thrilled about the color. I don't think any of this is very functional at all. So we're gonna get rid of that and this is gonna be Brian's new little gym corner. He actually came up with the idea for this and I think it's genius because it's one easy way that you can expand your bedroom, especially if the room itself is really small. A closet is a great way to add some additional room. What's funny is that we have a bunch of space bags from when we moved and I just did not do anything with that. So that is kind of what's happening here. We also have the closet storage systems that I bought for this closet and we never got to. So that is what we're going to install today. This is definitely not working right now. So let's go ahead, clear everything out, demo some things and also patch it up. Let's go over this mock-up because Brian and I did one together and it is not very good. So I wanna bring this live so that we can visualize it a little bit better. What I like to do is to start off with a photo of the space and I honestly should have cleared it out beforehand, but here it is in its current state and we're of course going to clear everything out. And Brian said he wanted to paint it black, so we're going to do that. And I think we're also going to remove the doors. He really wants it to open out into the space, so I think that's what we're going to do. But we might just leave the tracks on top in case we don't like it and want to put the doors back on later. And as you saw, we already have a closet system that we bought which is the same one that we have in our primary bedroom so we're gonna set it up and I think it's gonna be a really nice spot for him to put all of his gym clothes in there he has so many he basically works out every day so he has like two different wardrobes so I think it'll be nice to take it out of our bedroom and put it all into the gym area we're also gonna need a place to store some equipment so Ryan designed this little cubby in the mock-up so I'm gonna build that out it's gonna hold dumbbells and gloves and maybe shoes and things like that 
that. So I think that's going to be a great spot for us to put all of that stuff. And then I also want to add some vertical storage. So I found a couple of solutions on Amazon that I think we're going to put up on the wall. And lastly, he also bought a bench that's going to fold up. So we're going to put it into the closet and whenever he needs to use it, he'll just take it out. Okay, this looks like a solid plan. Let's go ahead and get started and make it come to life. Better than our old bedroom. Than the other closet? Yeah, the other closet. Oh, yeah, the other closet so. was a nightmare. I'm gonna let Brian do this. I'm gonna stand this. Oh my gosh. That looks like fun. What color was it? Green. Wow. If you have old shelving or a closet system that just is not working for you, take this as a sign to rip it all out and create something that works for you. There are so many ways to utilize a closet space and turn it into an office or a crafting nook, or I've even seen people put their beds in there for more space. There are endless ways to transform a closet. And as you saw, we were just not utilizing ours well at all. And we knew that we can convert the office into a hybrid space for home workouts. Brian still loves to get out of the house and go to the gym for a full workout but now that it's winter time some days it's just freezing and this is a great space to do a quick workout plus now we're gonna have a dedicated space for all of our gear Good morning, you guys. It is another day, and as you saw, I just spent this morning sanding on the walls. They look so much better now. Today is painting day, so we got a bunch of different supplies, and I also let Brian choose the paint color in here. This is the color I chose. You had the makeup girl moment. Hello. Poppy seed. I chose this color because I thought that it would match all the dark aesthetics going on in this room. Mm -hmm. And plus, kind of like when you're in a gym, I kind of want that dark moody feel yeah so i think it would match very well with the white shelves that are going on i don't know if you could tell on camera but it does have a little bit more of a blue undertone so i really like that because it ties in with the curtain as well as the wallpaper on the other side that's what i said <laughs> let's paint poppy seed This red, green, white paint. <laughs> color already looks so good in here and it's so funny because I don't know why but I'm like literally always so amazed whenever we paint a space I know it's like the oldest trick in the book to make anything look brand new but it seriously does freshen up so much you ready to pump some iron in here <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure all this DIYing it's made me buff <laughs> Going into the new year, I'm trying to have an open mind and just challenge myself with more creative projects. So I'm kind of glad that I get to make this video and show you guys that. And if you are looking to challenge yourself in the new year, maybe you want to learn new skills or kickstart a new career or build upon your existing career, Skillshare is a great place to start. They're the sponsor of today's video and you guys have seen me take so many amazing Skillshare classes. I've taken business classes as well as productivity and of course creative classes and all of those have really helped me build this channel into a business 
business and now I get to do my dream job. So after doing this for a year full time, I think going into this new year, I really want to focus on branding. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly that is and how to be even more successful at it in the new year. Right now I'm taking a class with Sonia Rasula and it's called Start Your Creative Career, Build a Sharp, Smart Online Presence. And if you are someone who wants to build a side hustle, this class has been really amazing. She is such an engaging teacher and also very inspiring. I am someone who has more of a creative brain. So when it comes to business things, I really struggle there. And this class has really broken everything down. So I feel a lot more confident in that arena. I definitely would recommend this class if you're in the same boat as me. And if you want to jumpstart your goals for 2023, Skillshare is giving you guys an exclusive offer. If you click on the link in my description box, you'll get a seven day free trial as well as 20% off of your first year, which is a huge offer. All the details will be under this video for you guys. And I would also love to hear about your goals for the new year, whether that's creative or career oriented. I would love to hear all about it. So leave them down below. All right, so it is time to get started on the dumbbell rack as requested by Brian. So I grabbed some of these boards here, which I thought would be a little bit easier than just pocket holding a whole bunch of things because I needed it to be a certain width. And here is my basic sketch. I think what we're going to do is make two little cubbies on top and then the bottom part is probably going to be for shoes. So that is my general plan. I think I'm just gonna start cutting and then kind of figuring it out as I go. We needed something strong and sturdy with specific dimensions for this closet. So DIY was the way to go. Brian basically drew up what he had envisioned and my plan was to create an organizer that is large enough to fit a set of dumbbells on top and then create three cubbies inside for equipment. That way the weights aren't just sitting on the ground and we have a place to store things when they're not in use. Now that everything's cut, I'm gonna put it all together with my pocket hole jig. So I bought this one a while ago because it was the cheapest option, but now looking back, if I were to do it again, I would probably get the other pocket hole jig that goes a lot faster. It is a little bit more expensive, but honestly, this kit is $40, and then also the clamp that you need to buy is also another $40. So you're really only saving $20 or $30 versus getting the Pro. So if you're looking to buy a pocket hole jig, just buy that one and save yourself some time. Anyways, so I'm using pocket holes because they create really strong joints. We're gonna be setting some pretty heavy dumbbells on this, so I just want it to be secure and stable. These are all my horizontal pieces, and I'm basically gonna add four to each side, and these will also be on the underside of it so you won't see them. Okay, let's do a little sit test. Yay, it's good. This thing is so solid. This is looking really cute, you guys. And of course, we can't just leave it like this. What I'm thinking about doing is actually just painting the inside and then leaving the outside and the fronts the wood color. I think that would make such a nice contrast. First, I need to tape the outside and then prime it. And then I think I'm gonna use the same color as the wall so that it looks super custom. We 
barely have any room in here, but we're about to build the closet. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a box in a box. The easy way. <laughs> Instructions, do we need them? We did it once before. Remember last time we built this and I think we did everything like wrong or upside down. And it took us so long. <laughs> We don't speak about that anymore. <laughs> As I mentioned, I had bought these closet systems for when we did our primary bedroom. So these are from Closet Made. Cause um, I'm not thinking straight. I just want to go on record and say it's been five minutes and we already messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Whenever you make one of these, make sure that everything is facing the right way and not with the raw edge. That is where we've gone wrong so many times. It has been working well for us, but I just never got around to doing it in this closet. So although it is not my first design choice for this gym setup, it's what we have, so that's what we're gonna use. We're having a competition on who can put the nail in with the least amount of swings. <laughs> Tina's record right now is four, so let's see. <laughs> that I kinda missed, I missed, I missed. That's a one, two, three, four. <laughs> four, Five, four, yep. Six. Yep. Let's see the champ. Right. Ready? One, one, two. No! Oh no, that's crooked. That's bad. Too nervous now. One, two, three, <laughs> six, seven. Tina's I the win. champ. Tina's the champ. I win. We also know we won't be in this house forever, so whenever it's time to sell, I'm gonna do the whole setup with the rods. But for now, we're just gonna use the main organizer in the center to house gym clothes and shoes. Is it just me or does this look like a chicken? I am loving how this is looking and I actually ended up taking the tape because it was being a little bit more messy. So instead I ended up going really carefully over the edges, but of course I did make a little bit of a mistake right here. So I'm going to just sand it and that should take it right off and give us a clean edge. We have a small space to work with, so of course I'm going to utilize as much vertical space as possible. This is actually a yoga mat holder complete with a shelf up top and then hooks at the bottom. So it's gonna be a great organizer for quick grab and go equipment like our boxing gloves, which are usually shoved in a box. Brian works super hard in everything that we do, so I just wanna make sure that this space is optimized for him. He deserves his own space that functions exactly how he wants it to. It's really special that we're able to further customize this office. You guys seem to really love the office makeover when we first did it last year, and I thought his reaction was so precious. A lot of you still tell me that it's your favorite makeover that I've done, so if you did miss it, I will link it down below for you. I'm about to put together the bench that Brian ordered and this is great because it's foldable which will save us some space. If he were to have his dream set up he would probably have like a whole squat rack but he told me his bones are getting old so he doesn't need all that. So this bench is going to be great and if you look behind me the setup is looking so good. I also just put in these weights that he got. Look at how perfectly this fits on to our little cubby. These are another great space saver because you could just get a set of them instead of getting getting one pair of each of the weights. So for example, right now it's at five pounds. So if I lift it up, this is what it looks like for five pounds of weight. And then you can put it back in. And if you wanna go a little bit heavier, you can go to like 15, let's say, and then adjust it on the other side as well. So then when I lift it, this is 15 pounds. That's heavy. So this is pretty awesome because both of us can use it. It goes all the way up to like 55 pounds, I think. 52 and a half pounds each, which is like over 100 pounds. I don't know who's doing that, but that is an option. And I think this is a great addition to our little home gym. Here's kind of what the setup is looking like. If I had it my way, I would probably paint this whole closet just to match, but 
I'm going to leave it alone. And I am just so happy with this little storage system that we made. It looks so modern and it was so easy to build. I'm gonna put the bench together and then put everything else into place and then we can reveal it to Brian. So I just cleaned up the whole room and we are ready to show Brian. So let me go grab him and share the reveal with you guys. Okay, you can come in now. I'm nervous. <laughs> I see. Okay. Oh. -ho -ho. You got the Chicago flag, I always wanted Yeah, wondering. quintessential. Oh! Aw, oh, babe. Oh my god. She put VMAG lace. <laughs> you built this. Yes, designed by Brian and built by me. Look at how cool it is. Oh my god, this looks so modern. Crazy, the dumbbell stand. Try it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, got a hot date with Miss Tina. Come here and rip a couple out. <laughs> That's crazy. All for me? Yeah. Thanks, babe. Do you oh my god, it? is the bench? Yeah, this is the bench. <clears throat> oh, it's my fitness corner. Oh, I still have to paint this, so, um... <laughs> all my shoes are here. I was telling Tina, too, like, I really wanted a spot to put all my shoes. So I'm getting a lot more, and this is insane. I don't know. Do I'm like, like I'm overstimulated. <laughs> this is crazy. Thank you, babe. Oh Girl, my god. Love you. Boxing gloves. Oh my god. Yeah, me and Brian are gonna box each other after this. <laughs> Great. I don't even know what to say. I'm honestly blown away right now, babe. I knew you would do it. I, I knew you would do it. I okay. knew you would do it. I was gonna say you picked a really good color though, because in some lights it looks black, and then other lights it looks blue. I know. I love that matches. So yeah, I painted the inside of this, so it looks wow. really seamless with it. Tina probably already touched on this, but I said how I wanted to keep this like an office vibe, but also when I wanted to work out, I wanted it to be also accessible for this. She's gonna start working out right now, guys. I know. You guys ready for the fitness class? I'm out of breath from doing that, so that's why I need this gym. <laughs> <sighs> I'm very appreciative to Tina for bringing my dream to life, because the last time I've had a home gym was like 13 years ago. There's times where the gyms just seem so far away, and now I can just get like a quick workout at home. Dang! Look at that. One. I need a spot! I need a spot! Tina! Help! <laughs> Alright, thank you. Good job on designing this, honey. <laughs> I've said it a million times, but you really go above and beyond anything I could have ever imagined. Oh. And I'm so lucky to have you help me with this. If it was me, it would have been <laughs> two dumbbells on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but this is... Oh my god, next level. Next level for sure. I'm so glad that you love it and hopefully one day we can get like a full setup. But this. right now this is really great for the space that we have. Full setup, I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> what? I actually am feeling very motivated to work out in here as well. So I'm glad that we did this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you want to see more from me, make sure you follow over on Instagram. I post on there every single day. And that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.